daily video Bible reading from the Net Bible, Matthew chapter 1 from the New Testament. This is the recording of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah was the father of Perez and Zerah by Tamar, Perez the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Amminadab, Amminadab the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz by Rahab, Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth. Obed, the father of Jesse, and Jesse, the father of David the king. David was the father of Solomon, by the wife of Uriah. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam, the father of Abijah, Abijah, the father of Asa, Asa, the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, the father of Joram. Joram, the father of Isaiah. Isaiah, the father of Jotham. Jotham, the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah, the father of Manasseh. Manasseh, the father of Ammon. Ammon, the father of Josiah, and Josiah, the father of Jeconiah and his brothers, at the time of the deportation to Babylon. After the deportation to Babylon, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiad, Abiad the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azor, Azor, the father of Zadok, Zadok, the father of Achim, Achim, the father of Eliad, Eliad, the father of Eleazar, Eleazar, the father of Mathan, Mathan, the father of Jacob, and Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary, by whom Jesus was born, who is called Christ. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations, and from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations, and from the deportation to Babylon to Christ, 14 generations. Now the birth of Jesus Christ happened this way. While his mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband-to-be, was a righteous man, and because he did not want to disgrace her, he intended to divorce her privately. When he had contemplated this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife because the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. This all happened so that what was spoken by the Lord through the prophet would be fulfilled. Look, the virgin will conceive and bear a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did what the angel of the Lord told him. He took his wife but did not have marital relations with her until she gave birth to a son whom he named Jesus. God, thank you so much for sending your son, your son to us for our salvation, to die eventually on the cross for all of our sins. It's just amazing to hear all the generations of people who 
listened to their heart and listened to what you were telling them to do and obeyed you and obeyed you so eventually Mary and Joseph could have your son, Jesus Christ, who came to save the world. God definitely is with us. Just allow us to think of that throughout the day that you are with us. We love you so much. In your son's name we pray. Amen.